Recently I've made several videos about the memory leaks and memory problems I've encountered in Ubuntu 18.10 with the 4.18 kernel in MX Linux 18 with the 4.19 kernel. And I don't want to leave the impression that the memory leaks are confined to these distributions. I think they're far more widespread and I think they have more to do with the kernel being used than with the distribution. So I just want to share a little bit of additional information about what I've found. First, I don't think this applies to all computers. I think it applies to some computers. I know it applies to my computer, and therefore I want to lay out the specs of my computer and that may shed some light on the problem. It's a Lenovo IdeaPad 100-15 IBY. I bought it new a couple of years ago, but it has a rather antiquated central processing unit, Intel Pentium N3540 quad core 64-bit. It's not one of the newer Intel core series. It has four gigabytes of memory 3.74 available, and it has Intel graphics using the Intel Atom graphics processing unit. So what I did is to open Google Chrome, which is the browser I use, and let me say that this works with Firefox or other browsers also. It's not unique to Google Chrome. The whole problem is not unique to the applications that I'm running. And I opened a live stream. In this case, it was France 24, which runs 24-7 quite reliably. And then I opened the task manager in XFCE so I could keep track of the memory use. Here I'm using MX Linux 18 with the 4.15 Linux kernel, and that hasn't been a problem. And of course, now I'm also using simple screen recorder, which I wasn't using during my test. My test ran six to seven hours, and running simple screen recorder for that long would build up a huge file. I didn't want to do that. I just took screenshots of the task manager at various times. As you can see here with the kernel 4.15, even with simple screen recorder running, uh, the memory use is only 26%, and that's fairly consistent. But I'm going to stop this and go to my actual results. This is MX18 as freshly installed from the ISO image with kernel 4.19 enabled by default, and I have this on an external hard drive. I'm running Google Chrome browser with the France 24 live stream in another workspace just to have something going that's going to continue. And these are screenshots taken at various times to show the memory leakage. Now, when it first starts at time zero, the memory is 24%, swap zero. After 46 minutes, the memory is 37%, swap zero. After an hour and 43 minutes, the memory is 45%, swap zero. After two hours and 42 minutes, the memory is 54%, swap zero. After three hours and 45 minutes, the memory is 63%, swap zero. After four hours and 44 minutes, the memory is 71%, swap 1%. After five hours and 46 minutes, the memory is 80%, swap 1%. After 5 hours and 59 minutes, the memory has dropped to 77%. You can see the little jog 
in the graph, and the swap is now 2%. So basically, some of the memory was traded off to the swap space. After 6 hours and 41 minutes, memory was back up at 85% and the swap at 3%. After 7 hours and 1 minute, the memory was 88%, swap 3%. After 7 hours and 26 minutes, the memory was 91%, swap 5%. Now, at this point, the live stream was still playing all right on Google Chrome. I wasn't really using enough swap space to slow things down very much. Screenshot was a bit sluggish. Now, here I've turned off Google Chrome and with it the live stream, and the memory has dropped down to 78%, and the swap is at 4%. Now what you see here really represents that Google Chrome released the memory it was using. It wasn't using a very high percentage of the total memory shown. Most of this was being leaked to points unknown. If you added up the memory used by all of the open applications, it wouldn't equal that number. So basically, what the residual memory is, is leaked memory that wasn't really being used by the application being run. This is Fedora 29 with the XFCE desktop and updated to using kernel 4.19. The beginning profile is a little different than with MX Linux. You can see within the first three or four minutes it went from using about 26% of the memory to using about 39%, but then it leveled off. Now, after the first 21 minutes, it was using 44% of the memory, zero swap. After two hours and four minutes, if he's using 62% of the memory, zero swap. After three hours and four minutes, it was using 70% of the memory, zero swap. After three hours and 24 minutes, it was using 73% of the memory, zero swap. After 3 hours and 57 minutes, it was using 77% of the memory, 1% swap. After 4 hours and 22 minutes, it was using 81% of the memory, 1% swap. After 5 hours, it was using 85% of the memory, 3% swap. After 5 hours and 44 minutes, it was using 89% of the memory, 5% swap. Now, as with MX Linux, the Chrome browser with France 24 playing live stream was still running all right because I wasn't using a very high percentage of my swap. Now, when I turned off the Chrome browser, it dropped down to 76% memory and 4% swap. And again, that represents memory released by the Chrome browser, and the residual memory is basically the base memory of the system plus the leaked memory. These two examples are probably just the tip of the iceberg, and of course I couldn't possibly test every Linux distribution. These tests take a long time. So what do I suggest? I suggest if you think you may have a problem, try making such a test yourself. You don't have to use the same browser, the same software, and you don't even have to run the test that long. 
you can tell within an hour or two whether the memory is climbing uncontrollably. If all else fails, I would avoid using Linux kernels 4.18 and 4.19 until they resolve this question. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.